Welcome, everybody. This is Nightsaber Z42, and we are playing Crimes and Punishments, Sherlock Holmes. All right. The last case was pretty short. Got it done in like three episodes, although I could have really done it in two episodes, but still, hopefully the next one will be just a little bit longer, a little bit more engaging, hopefully. The Q Gardens drama. Ooh, everybody likes a good drama. It's reality TV Sherlock style. We. <laughs> Long looty times. All right, here we go. Pick on that violin. For heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Uh, hello, Watson. You're early. Uh, did you kill all of your patients? What? Clowns? Where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. <laughs> I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. <laughs> anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yet you were just sitting there. But nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well... I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Hmm. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. For a second there, I thought he was actually doing that weird little experiment that they did in the, uh... The movie with Robert Downey Jr. where he was going to, uh... Actually, no, I don't want to go yet. Where he was going to, uh... Doing, uh... Aeolic, uh, music to... Figure out how the flies were flying. <laughs> Here we go. Letter from Mr. Holmes. I am writing to inform you that the affair at the Abbey Grange, which took place almost half a year ago now, still resonates deeply in high society and remains a subject of much gossip. Wow, that was a long time ago. Jeez. Wow, half a year ago. Okay. This case's romantic background has attracted many suitors who show willing to shelter and take pity on Lady Brackenstall. But to this date, she still serves her sentence with her maid, Teresa, and has rejected all offers of help. To be truthful, I suspect that the true motivation of these suitors may well be related to Sir Eustace's title and money. What do you think, Mr. Holmes? Like, I give a crap. Here we go. Yep. Uh, who do we have that's new? Oh, well, I guess she's serving her... Hmm. Oh, well, it's one, eight, two. Go ahead and travel to the Q Gardens. Q, Q, Q. Hmm. No evidence yet. How terrible. Oh, stolen plants. Interesting. Are we there yet? Watson, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Watson. 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 Watson! Look at me. Look at me. Can this take any longer? We'll be there in like a year. What's it? We've just been driving around in circles. What the bloody hell is going on? Oh, no, never mind. We're there. All we need to do is drive around in circles. 
All right. Well, the Kakuyu Gardens. Gardens. At the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? <laughs> nope. Yes, of course. Looked like there was a face in that tree back there. Oh, you're going to make me start off in the first person view? I don't think so. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. I'm gonna kill you. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Mm -hmm. We're investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A yes. favor for a friend. Now, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted he did to it. meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert! Show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. I'm talking about he's getting fertilizer. People work here. Only myself. But occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Miss White. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk to Miss White. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that, so suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Hmm. Murder. Examine the place of Dune's death. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. Hmm. Warning. Don't touch. Yeah, Watson, don't touch. Look at these balloons. They're too staticky. They don't move around. They don't fly through the air. What's this over here? Nothing. Actually. According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Found dead? Or anybody witnessed that die? What's this? Hey, look. Cracks. The door was smashed at shoulder height. The handle? This door handle is new. It was recently changed. Hmm. So the uh, person who did it obviously worked here? The Esconson was breached near the handle. Oh, that's what that's called. The door <laughs> was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. The colonial collection room. Well, after I finish inspecting these footprints. The traces are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. Mm hmm. Prints reveal that someone staggered here. 
Really? Somebody was a slowpoke. Fragments. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. What about this mushroom looking thing? Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Right here. Okay, and this pot. No, 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 I don't want to look at the door. I don't want to look at the door. I want to look at the pot. Yeah. The broken pot. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. Okay. Blood. The sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Like a body. Blood. Someone fell violently against this sign, and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Yeah, he needs his imagination. Oh, crap. Oh no, I don't want to do that. It's like... Why would you... Half of the colonial collection is absent. Did I get it right? Well, I mean, considering that it was the only thing that could have really happened. I mean, if you thought he hit his head first and then walked backwards all the way through, then you are kind of not smart. <laughs> XCOM 2. I need to really play through that game. A disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident or a murder? A murder. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection. Yes, you've told me that for like the umpteenth time. Where does my book say? Oh, trusty eight cube book, eight ball book. What do you say? Examine the colonial collection. Okay, we shall examine the colonial collection. Look, this door is different than all the others. What's up with that? Water lily greenhouse. Hmm. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Hmm, only in some parts? It's the colonial collection. How do I know when I'm in the colonial collection? Ooh, look at that, I like that. The tunnel with the stone slabs. It must have taken forever to actually get that up there. Because I know that could be pretty heavy. I wonder how they got it to go up there without breaking. This must be the colonial collection. You, gentlemen. Where's the freaking colonial collection? Wow, that was like a whole scene for just that. And he's not. Oh, there he is. I was like, he's not even in here. Albert, what say you? I'm gonna read you. Read you and your eyebrows. He wept recently. He's consumed by grief. Shaving cut. Wait, where? I didn't even see that. Look at his tie. Very suspicious, that tie. Anything on it? Oh! Clean hands. He's a very clean person. But he is consumed by grief. Do you work here? Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Hmm. Cool. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Tell me, uh, tell me where the colonial chambers are. <gasps> I need to know. Okay, I'm back outside. Okay, there's the guy. Colonial chambers are like probably across the ways. Tell me something I don't know. 
Tell me where Miss White is. I need to read you. Look at your glasses. Myopic and expensive glasses. Because you probably don't get paid. Look at that beer. He's... Ooh, dirty collar. So it looks like you spilled some baby food on your collar. And jacket. And other stuff. Okay. I hope you don't... Unmarried. I hope this isn't like the jacket you wear all the time to different places. Gardener Sands. But Dune's death. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. As if he didn't have a heart attack. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Okay, tell me where the colonial place is, please. We are here? So we just need to walk straight and then... Colonial collection. Crap. Dry tropics. Okay. Ventilation system. I kind of sort of see the error of my way. Seed house. Nursery. As if you couldn't read it by yourself. Map of Kew Gardens. Here we have Sherlock Holmes reading you all of the... Director's office, <laughs> cloakroom, and laboratory. All of the names of all the different places. Harm house. Anything else? Ventilation system. Ventilation system. Good job, Sherlock. You can read. Water lily greenhouse. You can read. Pretty sure that's everything. Go. Cool. Because I can't read, you know. Oh, okay, this is the director's office. I thought I saw a sign here, but that's probably still the director's office. They told me this is the colonial. This is the nursery. That is a giant. Oh, that's not an onion. I thought that was an onion. But it was a tree in a sack. Is this still the... Where's the colonial room? Where are we now? Oh, well. Okay, there's no way to actually get there from here. Okay, so I guess I should just go straight. There is a smell of burning. A smell of burning? <gasps> Holy crap, look, there's a fire. I didn't nobody notice. Grab a pail of water, Watson. We need to put it out. Fireplace. Broken pot. Look, it's a coin. Or something. What's it say on the bottom? The symbol is not from Q Gardens. Oh, we'll take it. <clears throat> The remains of a picture frame. Was it the Mona Lisa? Is that what happened to the Mona Lisa? Oh, gas mask. A protective mask. It is a protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Ha ha. It didn't burn. The a piece of plant. set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. Oh, wow, so this must be the plants. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The mm. door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. Burn the broom. handle was half burned. Wow, that's intense. Where was the colonial room? Oh, this is the dry tropics. And through here should be the, uh... Ooh, look at this. Through here should be the area that we need to go to. Colonial These collection. These are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purpose. The look. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. Just like the pot that we have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look at all the cactus. The cacti. 
So like you don't even have any other plants that go in the desert or in dry area dry areas. Cut this thing behind. There's the water lily house. According to this, they have light and moisture level in some parts of the building. So is this whole thing the uh, colonial collection, I guess? Oh. Here is a list of the stolen plants. Okay, what else is there to examine? Boom, boom. Whoop. Bit and cotton things. Ah, here we go. This is the area that I need to go to, I think. These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. Really? Never seen that in London. <laughs> oh, I was like. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. A detergent? Stone ship. Take the stone ship. Look at it. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. A sculpture. Anything else? This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. Somebody punched it so hard, it exploded into pieces. These windows were perfectly cleaned. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Perform an autopsy of Montague Dunn. The death is suspicious. Why had he forced the door of the colonial collection room? Why had someone cleaned and emptied the room? Was it a trap or a simple accident? Well, I guess we better go figure that out. Now, shouldn't we? According to this... They have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Okay. So we gotta perform an autopsy now. Watson, let's go perform an autopsy. Scotland Yard. All right. Um, bum, bum, bum. Scotland Yard. La da da. Hey Watson, do you really think he died of a heart attack? No, but his heart probably exploded. Just like that stone ship did. Somebody texting me? No. Emails. Yay. Useless emails. Ooh. Okay, that's something that I did like a month ago. That I'm just now getting something from. Cool. Here we go. Come on back to scratch. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. Wait, what? It's been that? They didn't do anything with it? They didn't like preserve it? It was like, what, five days ago or something? A couple days ago? Nothing's been done with it? Wow, jeez. Okay, well. Is there any evidence? Do you have any belongings or something? Hey, he did. Dunn's belongings. Letter. To Mr. F. Wayne, director of Wayne & Sons Printing Company. Beware. You are probably going to die and your son will become a creature of the night, much like a bat. My friend, your posters, f your posters for the great exhibition at Kew Gardens are very beautiful, but it is surely unnecessary to mention all of the staff. My name alone will be sufficient. Montague Dunn. What a douche. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. Club card. Where did he like to go clubbing? A membership card for the London Crest Club. Hmm. Interesting. This watch is of great value. Let's take it. Okay, so that's all of his belongings. Let's go examine ourselves a body. You did? Are oh, you did all the way? Where's the body? 
Watson, where are you? Oh, here we go. Body. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. Okay. Look at his hands. No redness, stings, or bruises. Mm. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. How about his face? Look at that. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. Look at his eyes. The and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. Somebody sprayed perfume in his face. His fingers are kind of weird. Suspicious here. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Hmm. Let's look at the heart. Actually, let's look at the lungs first. Whoa. The lungs are congested and edematous. Well, I don't even know what that word means. Ooh, what is that? The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. Wow. That kind of sucks. <laughs> the heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. So why did he have a heart attack? So I see scarring tissue. Is that what that says? The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. Okay. How about the liver? The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. Consistency is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. Like everybody else in this game, apparently. Stomach. Where did you eat last? Stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. What? Say something? Hey. Oh, there we go. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly only a short while before his death. Hmm. Very interesting. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. It is a murder! Strat. No. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. <laughs> of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Q will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Mmm, personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. I've opened lots of doors. Even those in the staff building. I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. Except he was a douche. You're doing this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information. And while you're at it, give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series. And subscribe if you would like to see more. I will see you guys in the next video.